And finally, what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of the possibilities that you can use Houdini for. And uh, without needing to be a developer or a FX artist, but we can do some things that will help animation out uh, to start getting uh, quicker animations and retargeting and being able to see different looks that we can do. So in this case, I just have a lecture here and I just have a switch on here. And this switch, all it does is it's just going between my different mocap clips that I have on here. Just if you want to take a look at them really quickly, you can kind of go through and see how they look um, and how they behave to be ever what you want. So these are just going to the switch on there. I'll put it back to zero. And now what I have here is a HDA. It's a retarget HDA. And I've set this up previously. And I don't want to remember how to do this every time. I don't want to think and go through it. It's like, I just want to do it once. And that's what I have to do. So I set it up for myself uh, once so I can just retarget really quickly. And I've made myself an HGA with some parameters. So if we take a look and we just add a C Apex Scene Animate on here. And I'm just going to plug this in. And we can turn on the display. And now what it's doing is it's just going through the retargeting process for me. And so if we go into this and take a look, now we can see I have my uh, retargeted of that uh, mocap put right onto my controllers. And I have my controllers all set up. And the one thing that I have on here is I have, I could type in all the individual numbers uh, on here. So if I take a look at this, you can see this is only one my key. So I don't have to end up with um, really dense data. And you can also do it so that you could set it up so it's like frames 1 to 85 and set up at, uh, every fifth frame. Or you could type it in. There's a few different uh, options that you have here that I've set up. And it's all at the top level, so I can just do this uh, as I need it. So if we take a look again at this and let's take a look at the switch. Let's just switch it to a different one now. And what we can do is we can see it's just going through the retargeting process. And now I have my different animation on there with my different, uh, all my keys changed on. I could do the exact same thing, do it again, switch it around, uh, just to see how this will be working differently. And here's one where it's just kind of flipping back. And so you can really quickly get it on there and you have your keys on there ready to animate. And what I did here is I did the same thing for a Jimmy, just did a uh, simple thing. So I have an electric animation here and a Jimmy clean up here. And all I did was copy that animation and paste it into, uh, uh, copy that animation from those and paste it into our scene animate down here. Similar to the way I copied and pasted the standing up one in an earlier video, just by selecting the sets, copying, pasting, and getting it in. So if we take a look at this scene animate here, and if I go in and click on there, and let's just look at it from a cam view. Now what I've done, I've also created a little tube here. And this is going to represent uh, some effect that I want. And usually with animation, you'll just have some simple geometry. And in this case, I'm just going to have Jimmy firing a beam of fire at Electra and going on there. And this is, you know, generally a lot of times this is what animators work with. Something nice and simple that they could just animate like they normally do. But it, it doesn't really look that great. Um, if we want to send this to a client, we would, it would be a lot better if we can have some effect on there. And that's the other thing that's really great about Houdini is because they're so good with effects that um, what you can do is you can start adding fire. And I just have these simple little setups that I've been using for a long time. And this allows me to put fire onto any geometry. And all I'm doing is splitting out the characters here so I can work with them different. And this is the fire one that's going through here. So if we just go down and... Uh, we exit out of here and we just turn on this merge. This is our character here and it's going through. So now what I've just done is just added fire onto uh, our character for, uh, onto the fire beam. So instead of seeing that uh, orange beam, now we can actually see some flames in there and it looks much, much better. So um, we can have something that looks a lot better for, an, uh, for animators. Uh, to see and to send to the clients as well. And if we wanted to put uh, some burning onto Electra, that's just what these three or four, and I'm just, I just selected uh, a group on Electra uh, of some points, and then I put the fire on there. So now what we can do is we could see she's getting lit on fire on the top of her body as she's getting knocked back and then we get it uh, thrown on here. Now, of course, these won't be the final effects. These are more like temporary effects just to be able to do it and see it a little bit better. So 
the main thing is, is that what we can do is we can go from something like this. And if we had a client sense or we needed a friends and family screening or just a temp screening for the client, instead of having just this plain little cylinder and having them imagine it, now we can add it on really quickly for uh, the animator just to do a flip book with it just by turning it on at the end and getting something that looks much, much better and tells the story a lot better. So it starts opening up possibilities of still being able to animate with simple geometry, but now we can start thinking about uh, some of the effects that, uh, that we could do in Houdini and being able to add them in for animators just to turn on when they wanna do their flip book to send to the client. So being able to retarget, do these things, add effects, it just starts adding possibilities of what animation can be um, you can do your animation and you could start uh, getting the effects and having just a more interesting look for things.